The time is nigh. Welcome to the entertainment on all fellows' lips, the arena where you, the mighty populace become judge and jury, the world where the citizenry decide who will live and who will die. Welcome, fellow inhabitants of this blue-green globe, to the little sleep. Today's contestants on The Little Sleep. true devoted pilgrim is not weary to measure kingdoms with his feeble steps. How much less shall she that hath love's wings to fly, when the flight is made to one so dear of such divine perfection is so proteus. Knowest thou not his looks are my soul's food? Pity the dirt that I have pined in by longing for that food so long a time. Didst thou but know the inly touch of love, thou wouldst as soon go kindle fire with snow as seek to quench the fire of love with words. The more thou damst it up, the more it burns. The current that with gentle murmur glides, thou knowest being stopped impatiently doth rage. <laughs> when his fair course is not hindered, he makes sweet music the enameled stones, giving a gentle kiss to every sedge he overtaketh in his pilgrimage. <laughs> and so by many winding nooks he strays, with willing sport to the wild ocean. And let me go, and hinder not my course. I'll be as patient as a gentle stream and make a pastime of each weary step till the last step have brought me to my love. And there I'll rest, as after much turmoil, my blessed soul doth in Elysium. Attend noble souls to a beacon of health and vitality. Behold, your wellness reminder a gentle herald of thy well-being's grace. With each chime it beckons thee to nourish body and spirit, to embrace the harmony of mind, body, and soul. Let it be thy faithful guide on the path to vitality and joy. Forsooth, in this age of tumult, let your wellness reminder be thy steadfast companion. Available now. What would you say to our glorious leader? Well, let my deeds be witness of my worth. I trained thy brethren to that guileful hall where the dead corpse of Bassianus lay. I wrote the letter that thy father found, and hid the gold within the letter mentioned, confederate with the queen and her two sons. And what not done that thou hast caused to rue, wherein I had no stroke of mischief in it? I played the cheetah for thy father's hand, and when I had it, 
drew myself apart and almost broke my heart with extreme laughter. I pried me through the crevice of a wall when for his hand he had his two sons' heads, beheld his tears and laughed so heartily that both mine eyes were rainy like to his. And when I told the Empress of this sport, she swooned almost at my pleasing tale, and for my tidings gave me twenty kisses. Hark and listen to the news just in. The final combustion engine hath breathed its last, marking a turning of the tide in the annals of transportation. Let us turn to our technology reporter, Anton Baptista, live on site to unravel this epical tale. In a symphony of silence, the final combustion engine breathes its last, marking an end to an era of roaring tumult upon our roads. The echoes of its farewell reverberate through the annals of time, as humanity charts a new course towards greener pastures. More on this to follow. Back to you Akira. I prithee, join us anon at the ninth hour, as we delve deeper into this tale, following the little sleep. quality of mercy is not straight. It is a drop as the gentle rain from heaven upon the place beneath. It is a twice blessed. It blesseth him that gives and him that takes. It is a mightiest in the mightiest. It becomes a throned monarch better than his crown. His scepter shows the force of temporal power. धाक वैभव आणि डर हे राजानु लक्षण छे पण दया हे राजाना दिल मा रहेली छे इट इज अन अट्रिब्यूट टू गॉड हिमसेल्फ व्हेन अर्थली पावर डोथ दे शोज लाइक इट्स टू गॉड्स व्हेन मर्सी सीज इन जस्टिस देयरफॉर दो जस्टिस बाय द प्ली कंसीडर दिस that in a course of justice none of us should see salvation we do pray for mercy and the same prayer doth teaches all to render the good deeds of mercy how far that little candle throws his beams so shines a good deed in a naughty world The time is upon us. Which of these fallen citizens will ye elect to freedom? Voting lines are open now. Behold, ye seekers of the future's grace, a marvel of innovation dost thou gaze upon. Introducing Eden, the chariot that doth power itself with but one charge each passing year. crafting its own energy carrying thee through the months untouched by time or toil with silent whispers it glides upon the roads a beacon of sustainability and grace come traverse the landscape in splendor for in eden every mile blooms with promise of tomorrow your favor has been tallied and results verified the victorious inmate with public favor for this round is 